Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? It's your boy Jonah, y'all. And I'm back, y'all, with another video. And I'm going to talk about some different stuff, okay? You got to be free for this cursed relationship. You got to be free. You got to be set yourself free for this cursed relationship, okay? And this goes with anybody. I don't care who you are listening to my videos. I don't care you black or white. I don't care what skin color. I don't care you're Christian, Israelite. I don't care who you are. You got to be set free for this cursed relationship. Y'all need freedom. You don't want to live in a miserable life. You don't want to live like this. Ladies, you too. Brothers, you too. And if you don't set yourself free for this cursed relationship, you want to have worse on yourself. Okay? And also, you're cursing yourself, and it really destroys your walks with God. Yes, it is. If, if, I'm going to say this one more time. Listen to me very carefully. If you don't set yourself free with this cursed relationship, you are wasting your time and you want to be miserable the rest of your life if you don't set free. And you want to end up your life. You want, you're not even dang straight no more because, let me tell you something, Satan, he wants y'all with bad relationship. He wants, he trying to destroy you, woman. For real, they're trying to destroy you. And y'all need to be set free. Y'all need freedom. Y'all need freedom, man. God wants y'all to be free. Even, even Jesus, Yashaya, say to Mary, Mary Magdalene, go sin no more. You seen the movie about Christ talking to Mary Magdalene, go sin no more. They sent her free. How come y'all not free? Y'all busy, falling in love with that guy, never do you no good. You're busy, falling in love with that woman, she didn't do you no good. That woman give you a hard time, fussing at you, you know, and take you for granted, do you real dirty. You want to keep living like this? You know why? Because you're not free. Y'all need freedom. You got to let that go. You got to let go with this cursed relationship because this person in your life is not ordained person in your life. I know a lot of y'all people say, well, I thought it was the right person in my life. Well, hey, I understand that. But this person in your life is not ordained person. See, this is what happened. Y'all so in a rush relationship so fast. Y'all never think about be friends first before you get into the relationship. But no, but no, you want to get into a relationship just because the face is looking good, nice car, nice body, and all that time. But you never know, but you never thought about getting to know that person. See, this is what happened. Y'all ladies are miserable because y'all into two relationships so fast with the guy. You know why? Because y'all been in a fairy tale. Y'all never think about read books or nothing. You know what I'm saying? First of all, Y'all ladies never thought about put God first. This is what happened, ladies. Y'all never thought about put God first. You never, you, you y'all never think about waiting on God. God will give it to you, but He not gonna give it to you right away. He wants you to do what He wants you to do. You know, He waiting on you to be immature. He not gonna give it to you. But I'm not saying he don't want to give it to you. He's not going to give it to you unless you, you know, do what God calls you to do. He will give it to you. But look what happened. Y'all ladies out there, y'all so in a rush. The courting, courting, looking for guy. And you think it's a God sending a person to your life. God did not send a person to your life. The devil sent a person to your life. You know why? Because you never waiting on God. You never, you know what I'm saying? You ask for God for something. You, you ask God for something, but you run around the street, you're looking for a man. 
Brothers, you do the same thing too. You pray to God. I said, man, Lord, I need a woman in my life. You get up and find somebody. That's not going to work, man. You got to wait on God. Let God find the right person do your life. See, you know, you never, you never, you never give God a chance, man. But you sort of rush to go somewhere, go on the street, go on to the church, go on to the job, go on to the school, find somebody. And you think God sent a person to your life. God did not send a person to your life. No, man. See, this is what happened. Your brothers and your sister, your life is miserable because you've been ending up in the wrong relationship with people. But now it's time for y'all to be free. Look at me. I'm in a cursed relationship. I don't even remember. I pray. Man, let me tell you something. I met my baby mama diary since high school. Special aid. You know? And I don't know. I be honest with you, y'all. I really don't know God going to send that person to my life or not. Because I really don't know. Because I wasn't even praying God said, God, I need, I need a woman in my life. I wasn't even praying. You know, I met that person. I met Darius at school since 2003. Yeah, we've been together for a long time. We separate, you know, separate since 2005, since Katrina. And we get back together since 2010. And we separate again since 2012. And we get back together since 2014. Now, we broke up since 2016 now. You know, now 2016, Darius acting different, and and I'm trying to figure her out why she acting different. This is weird, man. This is weird. This is weird, man. You know, you gotta let go, man. You gotta let go and move on with your life. If, if you know what I'm saying, if you tired of be with this person, you gotta move on. Cause I know she tired of be with me, and I gotta let her go. She want to get back with a woman beater? That's her. That's her problem. You know. Y'all need freedom, man. Y'all need freedom. Y'all y'all need to live in a happy life. God wants y'all to be happy. He don't want y'all living a miserable life. Even God don't want me living my my uh, miserable life. You know what I'm saying? I can't force my girl to be with me. If she don't want to be with me, if she want to be some time with her family, I'll just let her do what she want to do. You know? And I, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, y'all. Y'all need freedom, man. You don't want to be in no relationship with the wrong people, man. I'm just doing my best and just put out the truth, man. Y'all need freedom, man. Y'all need, you know what I'm saying? It's best y'all to stay single for a little while. Or ask, ask God you want new man or new woman in your life. You got to put God first, man. And God will send this person to your life. But first, you got to do what God calls you to do. And God wants you to be. Simple, y'all. Simple. A lot of y'all people didn't. A lot of y'all people, y'all don't. A lot of y'all people don't want to do that. But you know why? Because you don't have no patience. You think you, you you think God this is, took it too long to send that person to your life. Some of y'all say, man, I'm tired of waiting on God. I'm going to find somebody else in my own way. And I still get blessed. Nah, this don't going to work like that. No, man. No. It's not going to work like that. You can do everything you want. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. If you, be, if you find somebody... Don't have God in your life, you wasting your time, man. You wanna get hurt. You wanna get cheap by. You wanna get beaten up. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all women's out there. Some women's out there get beat up by the guy every single day, man. It's just crazy, y'all. Are they done do the videos in the past about this is what happened? Y'all never put God's first. I already done do the videos since a couple of weeks ago. This is what happened. You never put God first. Y'all y'all busy looking for somebody. Y'all think is God sending the right person in your life. No, 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 man. Your woman's get beat up. You know, your woman's more miserable, hurting. You just don't have no clue why this guy do you wrong. 
Now, let me share things with you all. It's about the white chick, you know, at the PCY shelter. She been through hell with her, with her, with her husband. Her husband cheating on her and she was pregnant. And I don't know the guy now. He's black. And he had he had his white he he um he he married. He had a wife and she was white, you know, and he, he cheated on her. She was pregnant. And he cheated on her with another chick. And she's still faithful with that guy. This guy ain't no good. He messed around with other women. And she feel miserable. See, this is what happened. You never think about put God's first, you know? And she told me what she been through with that guy. The guy was punching her in the stomach. She was pregnant. And I said, damn, why you ain't call the police? She wasn't. And she talked about she still loved that guy. So you can't love the guy he he, he punched you in the stomach. I ain't never do some things like that. She feels sad. She hurts. She's in pain. She ain't got nobody to help her. Her boyfriend don't care about her. Her, her, her. I mean, her husband. They talk about they love her, but but they cheating on her with the other chick. She tell she tell me and my baby mama what she been through. It's just sad, y'all. Sad. She told me me and you on the same page because she say her husband left her just like Darius left me. You know. And y'all need freedom, man. Y'all need freedom. Y'all need a happiness. Y'all need to move on with your life and your walks with God. If you don't, man, you're going to want to be sad, sad, and sad. And you want to destroy yourself. And you want to curse on yourself, man. You got to stop. You got to let the person go. You got to be free. You got to move on with your life. You got you got to, man. This goes to me too, man. If I don't move on with my life, I want to get myself hurt. I want to get my heart broken again because I already cry already. I'm in tears already. And I was got here in the motel. I was buzzing up crying my ass off because my girl do me real dirty. She do me real, real dirty, just like my ex Nicole, man. And I didn't know that Reese wasn't like that, man. It's just crazy, man. Just because I mess around somebody in the past. That's in the that's too many years ago. It's been like at least like five or six years. It's been like since 2007. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, you know? I was even tripping. She messed around with him and I was not around. You know why? That's in the past. But she mad at me because I've been in a relationship with someone in the past. It don't make sense, y'all. And... That's all got to be said, man. Y'all need freedom, man. If somebody ain't doing you no good, you got to be free for this cursed relationship. Because this person in your life, this person in your life, they ain't doing you no good. Because this person is cursed, man. You got to let them go. You got to let the girl go. You got to let the man go. And that's all got to be said, man. This is JC, y'all. And I'm just doing my best to put a truth out there, man. Love you guys. I'm out, y'all. Y'all be cool.